Hello, and welcome back to another video. Now, I'm feeling a lot of concern and frustration. A bit of a, a, a mix of both at the moment. Both at the, the performance last week against Burnley, which was absolutely dreadful. I, I, you go a long way to see see a worse performance than that. I mean, I turned it off for the last half an hour because I, my my brain cells couldn't cope. I nearly lost all my brain cells watching that. It was it was like what it was it was like watching, it, it was like watching pub football football at times. They couldn't pass a ball together. Same for me. <laughs> couldn't pass a ball together. Now, now I'm I'm not even making sense. Oh my. To lose in that fashion. I the last two games, especially, the game against Sheffield United didn't even feel like a win because we had, we were turned over by bottom of the league. We've been absolutely dreadful all season. Yes, they've had a bit of a uh, uh, bit bit um they've been a bit unlucky in in front of the goal, but at the same time, their defence has been absolutely woeful. Uh and we we got absolutely turned over by them. So I, I saw this defeat coming a mile off. I really did. And the way we conceded the first goal, especially, I thought, uh, we, we, we're, we're in for something dreadful here if that's the way we're going def to we're, we're defend. I mean, Connor Cody got turned over like a tin of salmon. I know it's... It, it, uh, uh, as a collective, the team's not really... Click this season, but Connor Cody especially has 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 disappointed me, and that may be a bit of a controversial thing to say, and especially the thing I'm going to say in a moment. Connor Cody, I think in the next few few years, especially because we're we're bringing in through a lot of youth at the moment, and I think I think Connor Cody's number could be up. If he if 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 he doesn't start to buckle down and and really improve next season, then I think him and uh, a few others could have their 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 first team place in jeopardy. To be honest, because I don't think I don't think I don't, I really don't think they'd be good enough. Especially, I think they've been the standout bad performers this season, and Conico Connor Cody has looked. But vulnerable, and he, especially uh, as other people have said, the defense looks really vulnerable in the back four, and Connor Cody is singled out most times when when we're playing playing in the back four, and and we ship loads of cult goals. He's the main culprit. He's not the fastest, which is the main problem, and especially. Over the last few games, when we we've started to play a little bit more expansively, a little bit more positively, it's 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 not looked great on him. At the same time, we have, we have got the results, and I am I am looking forward to the game. I am looking forward to the game on Monday, but at the same time, I am nervous because I was co I, I was confident. I was confident we would absolutely thrash them in the reverse fixture. And we got absolutely embarrassed. We should have won that one easily. But we made hard work of it. And we got uh, we, we got Sam Allardyced. It's been a common theme. It's been a common theme this season. We've got Sam Allardyced. We've been Roy Hodgson. We've got we've uh, got done over by... Uh, especially by, by the managers who like to uh, part the bus a lot and... Smash and grab. <laughs> let's let's just say that. So, we 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 we've got to uh, exact revenge on them. Otherwise, I don't I don't think I'll be able to live. I don't think I'll be able to cope with it. To be honest, if we do not win on Monday, I do not know what I'll do. I think I'll just hide behind the sofa. I just won't go out. I'll be I'll be I'll be too embarrassed to. To to go out on onto the streets if if we do not pick up a, well, especially if we lose if we if we, if if we pick up a draw then it, it'll still it'll still be, not a great result but it won't be as bad as losing, 
whatever you do, do not do not lose a backcountry derby. We've already done it. We we've already done it once this season, and it took me a long time to recover from that. That was painful. That was painful because they did not deserve that at all. As bad as as bad as I I, I made it seem just a few moments ago, we didn't actually play that bad. We didn't actually play that bad. And we probably deserved to win. We had the chances to win the game. But we got done over by their tactics. And it was embarrassing. Ah, it'd be even sweeter. It would be even sweeter. If we if we, if we we could get three points at the Hawthorns. It'd be brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And. It'd, it'd be great. It'd be even more great. Because if, if we beat them. If we beat them, I, I reckon that's them finished. That is them finished. And sent packing. Off you go. Go to the departure lounge. You're heading for the championship. Uh, I'm getting, I think I'm getting a little bit too smug here. I'm getting a little bit too smug. I, uh, this, this, this could come to haunt me. This could come to haunt me come Monday. Oh dear! <laughs> I don't know how quite quite to feel right now. I'd love I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Are you are you nervous going into the Black Country Derby? I definitely am. I'm absolutely bricking myself, but hopefully we'll get we'll we'll get the three points. We've got to hope. We've got to hope. Let's make sure to leave. Uh, a like on the video if you if you enjoyed and i shall see you on monday hopefully reporting on a win but you never know with these things you never know with football it can, it can make you really happy or it can just make make you feel like the loneliest person in the world <laughs>